Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another review with me, Peter, the master of hoppers. Today, review more tumbling Goliath beers, and this is more core range stuff. That's what you could get on the web shop, but it's awesome to try some. This is tumbling Goliath Rover Truck Oatmeal Stout, and I think Bear Beer Reviews Jack uh, just reviewed this one. I think he's in like Chicago or something at the moment, and he reviewed a lot of. Um, American Craft Beers. So this is 5.1%, 5.2? 7? 5.7% 5. 7. Uh, alcohol. Again, they don't print it on the cans. It's so weird. Uh, I think they should do that. But yeah, oatmeal stout. Last oatmeal stout I had was Black Exodus by 18th Street. And it was really good. So Oh, and also Amaboku's Black something angel. I can't remember, but... Should be interesting, so let's find out how this one is. So, let's check out the aroma. Oh, by the way, pitch black in color. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. Tan head. Now, let's check out the aroma. <laughs> wow, that is oaty and roasty. Lots of sweet oat. It kind of reminds me of uh, Samuel Smith's oatmeal stout, actually. Kind of like that kind of sweet, oaty, almost like milky, making it. <clears throat> steam like milk chocolate aroma. There's also some dark chocolate, some roasty, toasty notes, a little bit of dark fruit, almost ashy, burnt, roasty, like a burnt malt, burnt bread. It looks pretty nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Not as good as Soto Sue. That's still the best, but man. For a oatmeal stout, this is 100% dead on style wise. This is really good. It really makes, I mean, I really, I, it, I can't, I, I keep remembering uh, Samuel Smith's oatmeal stout when I drink this. It kind of seems a little bit similar actually. And also Black Ox Exodus. I think that one is a little less sweet than this, but I love the sweetness. I do love sweet beers. I think this. I'm not sure if it has lactose as well. I don't think so, but it does have that kind of milky sweetness almost. I think this on nitro in cans would be fucking sick. Uh, wow, this is really drinkable. Nice roasty, toasty notes, toasted nuts, dark chocolate. Because of that sweetness from the oats, you're getting an almost milk chocolate feel. You're definitely tasting um, the toasty, roasty notes, as I said, and the, definitely tasting the oats as well. Mmm. And super drinkable stout. I mean, this is like sessionable stout. It just got so much flavor for a five percent, five point was well, seven percent beer, and, and and a lot of mouthfeel too. It's like nice, creamy, medium, almost full mouthfeel actually, which is insane. Like very velvety on the mouthfeel. I'd probably say this is the best oatmeal stout I've had. It's not like mind-blowingly insane, but for what it is, it's just so dead on, and the flavors are very punchy for a light lighter uh, strength. Or ABV beer. So I actually think I'm going to go 94 on this. Yeah. 94, 93, 93. Let's go 93. It's probably the best oatmeal sour I've had. Hmm. I really like this. Uh, yeah. Good stuff, guys. So if you get the chance, definitely check out the Tumbling Goliath Rover truck. Uh, yeah, really good oatmeal stout. This needs to be... Uh, uh, nitroed, if you can say it like that, because I think that would be amazing. So yeah, 93 for the rover truck. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Let me know what you think of this bad boy, if you've had a chance to try it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to say cheers. And see you guys in another video review.